Hello everyone. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I made this screencast today to kind of show how to um, get into Elevation and fill out the monitoring forms that you received an email about. So first, um, if you're really new like me, you can start here in the Coppell ISD uh, staff page and go down to where it says Elevation and then you can click that link to get to Elevation. If you don't already have this page bookmarked, I would definitely recommend doing so. And then we're just going to log in. Um, Miss Lim has been so gracious as to let me use her login and password to show everyone how to do this. So uh, thank you, Miss Lim. <laughs> so first, you'll just log in. And as you can see, the first thing that pops up, you can see it says eight form assignments due. So you can click here to view the forms. You can also click on this tab where it says monitoring. So either one of those will take you to the right place. And then you can see there's two different tabs here. The first one is the exit student, exited student monitoring. And those are for the EL students who are no longer in the ESL program and they're exited and they're monitored for one, two, three, and four years um, outside of the program once they exit the program. The other tab at the top is for your current EL students. And so these are going to be the students that are currently participating in the ESL program. Now you may see uh, some names down here that are crossed out, um, but those are not to be worried about. Those were just forms that um, you as a teacher filled out in previous years. And we're working with the Elevation team to get these names um, taken off of there, but right now they're showing up. But don't worry about the names that are crossed out. So let's look at one of our, our monitoring forms. So you just click on the, the student, the first student here, and it gives you some good uh, information. It tells you their test results and their telepaths and their IPT scores. It, it gives a lot of good information. And then here is the only part that the classroom teacher, as the classroom teacher, you need to worry about. So answering these questions, you know, um, does the student meet behavior expectations? Do they complete their homework assignments? Are they, you know, per performing on grade level in terms of listening, speaking, reading, and writing, and uh, the level of rigor as well? And then if they're receiving any tutor or intervention, this is where you would notate that. And then has the student's attendance affected their academic performance? Yes or no there. And then is the student making ad this is the part that's required and it's the most important part here basically saying that yes they're making progress or no and we need to meet together as an LPAC committee to discuss if perhaps they're due to language they are not making the adequate progress so um, and then you're more than welcome to put comments here this part is not required but it is helpful for future um, reference and then you sign and submit and that is it for each of your monitored students and you can go back here to the monitoring home also available at the top of the screen to see your other students now i'm not going to click submit because this is not my uh responsibility this is not my account here so i don't want to interfere with uh, miss lim's account but then once you complete your exit student monitoring you can come over here to the progress monitoring for your current el students now this view is going to look a little different when you click on the student name you're going to see some information but this is the biggest difference here is the el instructional accommodations what have you been doing for this student in your classroom since school started? What are some of the things that you've been doing for the student that are really helping them um, understand and grasp the academic content? So like this student is new, so she's brand new. So obviously she's not going to have a whole lot of information and test results because she's new to the country then what we would expect here is to see a lot of supports being given because she is new to the country so obviously the the less english that they know the more accommodations that you'll be checking here and if they know a lot of english and they're on the advanced to the advanced high end 
then you may not necessarily need any of these, maybe one or two, or maybe none at all. And that is okay. Um, in the comments section, I would just put that the student is performing, you know, on grade level, and they, at this time, they're not in need of any extra accommodations, or they're not going to benefit from that. And then also answering about the attendance, and then verify. This is basically checking this little circle here means that you're saying that you've been doing these things in your classroom and there will be no need to upload any pictures of what's going on uh, you'll just sign and submit and you're done so these are due on let's see going back to the home page it tells you when they're due right here on october 12th these are going to be due and they come up every um right before each report card so when the grades are due for the report card it'll be about the same time as these progress monitoring forms are also due um, i hope that this screencast has really helped you and um, please let me know if you have any questions at all i'd be happy to sit down and, and help you go through these um, again you can go to sals.youcanbook.me i'll show you here sals.youcanbook.me and once you go to this page, you will see all of the availability. Of course, this is this week, so it's you can click on the arrow to see go to the next week, and you see I'm a lot more available. So please feel free anytime that you want to sit down and meet with me. I'd love to meet with you. Thanks again for watching.